Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, configure the uh, ports and pins. Uh, when I originally uh, wired this, um, I wired the drivers up to specific pin numbers on here. So my X is actually on 2 and 3, Y, uh, 4 and 5, Z on uh, 5 and 6, which I have listed right here. So these are the numbers that I need to put into uh, ports and pins in the configuration. So we're going to go over to configuration, go to ports and pins. It uh, looks like, uh, first check the uh, port address. Uh, the parallel port address is uh, 378. That should be good. Um, Input signals, all right. Uh, output, motor outputs, there we go. Okay, so we'll go to our motor outputs. Um, all three of them are enabled, um, but we're gonna have to change these. So based on here, we're gonna go with the X first. So it should be two and three. So we got two and three. And Y, of course, is going to be four and five. Four and five. Z be six and seven. Six and seven. All right. Um, and then all of the step and dirt ports are all supposed to be one like they are right here. Uh, I actually left all of these uh, unchecked uh, following some other another uh, video. Um, but when it wasn't working, I got the. Uh, uh, a screenshot from uh, from Sam, uh, who's helped me out on setting a lot of this stuff up, um, and uh, he actually had all these checked. And once I checked those, uh, everything worked fine. So not sure what the discrepancy is, uh, but uh, all right. So that's all done. I'm gonna apply that, and then click OK. And we will uh, turn our control box on and then click reset and see if we get any motion. Oh, there we go. Let me zoom out. Okay. So we got uh, right, left, back, forward. Okay, so our um, our Y is still backwards. It was backwards before. Uh, of course, I'm setting this all up uh, anew because I got a new computer. Uh, and then let's see the uh, see the Z. Uh, page down is down. Page up is up. So that's all good. So now we just have to find the part where we have to reverse it. Okay, so I found the uh, the setting actually with some uh, help from uh, a post on CNC Zone actually. Um, if you go to uh, configure. Uh, homing and limits. There's actually a section right here called uh, checkbox you can check for reversed. So what I'm going to do is check that, click OK, and uh, looks like it's asking us to reset. So I've got that reset and uh, let's see if it uh, moves in the right direction this time. Right. 
gonna go right. Oh no, there's uh gonna go towards me and away. Okay. So we're going in the right direction now, so that's how you uh correct the uh the reversing. Uh reversed if it's going in the reverse direction, so Okay. Uh the next part to check would be uh to select native units. Uh and uh, it's defaulted to inches, um, so I'm just going to stay with inches if you're working with millimeters. Um, then if you're going to be working mainly in millimeters, uh, then you can check that, but I'm going to be working basically in inches. There was a dialog box be just before this, um, but you can read that more carefully if you're going to be going into metric, but... Uh, I'm just going to click OK there. All right. Okay, now I'm going to do the uh, limit switches. Uh, so I'm going to go to uh, Configure, Ports and Pins, and to Input Signals. I'm going to enable the X Home. And put it on the see the port is one and the pin number is going to be from the diagram here that I'm using uh, this is the way I had wired it so the X is run to the uh, pin 11 so I'm on port 1 which is the port for the uh, the parallel port, port 1. Um, so, under pin number, I'm going to put 11. And then I'm going to enable the Y. Uh, still port 1. Then I'm going to go to pin. Twelve. Enter 12, and I'm going to enable Z, uh, still port 1, and I'm going to make that Z was uh, 13. So make that 13, and click apply. And then OK. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, go to the, here's the, uh, I'm going to go to the diagnostics page over here. And over here, where it says H1, H2, and H3, home, uh, those should not be lit. Those are lit. Uh, you might have the, the wires hooked up to the limit switch wrong, or not hooked up or something. Um, now what I'm going to do is over at the, the mill I'm going to go ahead and activate one of the, the switches. So I'm going to just push on the micro switch here and as I push on it you can see it light up. Right there, just turned yellow. That right there is the... Uh, motor number two. And then I'm going to do that for the other limit switches. You can see the other one come on. That's uh, motor number one, and that was on the x-axis, and now I'm going to do it on the uh, z-axis, that's showing motor number three. Okay, you got to make sure that before you start referencing home, um, you got to check that, otherwise it may just slam into something. Um, Alright? Okay. 
And I've uh, switched to uh, machine coordinates. I press this and the red light comes on around it. I'm now on machine coordinates. Uh, now we're going to ref all home. And Z is going up. And now Y is going back. And now X is going all the way back. All right. And that is now home. All right. And as you can see, um, the machine coordinates is now reading all zero. All right.